this is my mom cave. I do everything here. I also work out here. Hi, my name is Nike. Welcome to Common Rooms channel and this is my mom cave. This is my shelf where I display my items. I usually do mock up this place dito. Practice, practice pag magsa stock sa shops or may bazaar ganyan dito ako nagmo-mock up ng display. Also, this is where I line up my items to get them ready to be ano stocked sa shops. And here below, nandiyan yung <laughs> beads ko which I use for my jewelry also. Supplies, beads, findings. This is my desk where I usually work. Kung ano mang klaseng work yan sa laptop or kahit crochet, beading. This is where it all happens. This is my cork board where I pin my designs. Minsan when I make a design or create something, I usually pin it up here. Kasi pinifeel ko pa or tinatansya ko pa yung feelings ko about it. That's how I work. Minsan kasi I put it up and then after a few days, I feel like hindi pa ako happy sa design, ganyan. So, andyan lang sila. Pero, after a few days, okay ako with the design yun. Hindi pat na sila sa shelf ko. Like this, necklace is new. Pero, I feel like lilipat na siya soon there. Suot ko na nga yung isa. I have here my supplies. My jewelry findings. Which I use for my earrings mostly. Pero, andyan lahat. I used to buy my my findings and jewelry supplies from Kiapo and Divisoria, but now I source them from China. Because uh, that's where I get the mga gold plated findings and uh, stainless materials. Yun. So I use those now. Nyan sila lahat. Kasama sama sila dyan. Okay, moving on. This is where I take photos of my products. Ito, light box, murang light box from Shopee. This is where I shoot yung mga product photo that I upload sa website. Ganyan. Yung supplies ko ng yarn and thread. I usually use itong crochet thread instead of the thick yarns kasi I find this better for accessories and jewelry making. Here are my packaging materials. This is where I usually pack orders. Boxes, tissue, twine, stickers, and whatnot. Yan. Because here, I have here my portable sewing machine where I practice. Nagpa-practice pa lang ako ngayon. Right now, I use this mostly to, to sew my ano, pouch. Jewelry pouches. Over here, I have my dresses. New kid, a few of my dresses. And then, I also hang up here my recent online ukay finds. Kasi recently, sila yung nakaka inspire sa akin to create stuff. Sometimes, an outfit or a dress gives me an idea kung ano yung next kung design ganon. So, I hang them here to keep me inspired. Here's my bookcase. Tapos, nandito yung mga big bad budol ko. <laughs> Craft books, crochet books, books on jewelry and fashion. Kasi I also get inspiration from these books. Okay, most sulit purchase. I did not purchase the these myself. These were from my mom. My hooks. My... <laughs> Hamanaka crochet hooks. I've had these for years already. Ito lang yung brand na ginagamit ko for crocheting. It's sulit kasi, it's really good quality. I tried kasi before using yung cheaper hooks, crochet hooks, but they tend to snag. But these are really smooth and matibay. And even when meron na siyang scratches, because sometimes Ah, nasa scratch ko yung hook kasi I also use this for my jewelry na mayroong chains. So, nasa scratch siya. So, kahit may scratches na siya, tolerable pa rin yung, konting-konti lang yung snag. So, maganda ng quality ng hamba na ka-hooks na to. So, I usually hoard, but I've had these for years. And I got these from a friend na nag nito from Dubai. They're so unique. Parang wala pa akong mahanap na nagsasupply nito. So, hindi ko siya, I, I can't bring myself 
to use them kasi baka maubos. <laughs> I have here donation boxes actually kasi I've hoarded these supplies also before. Wala <laughs> talaga niya. Muji, excuse me. Yung charms and find jewelry findings that I no longer use. Kasi before, nag-experiment pa ako with my style, my designs. Kaya yan, nag-hoard ako ng supplies. Pero ngayon, hindi na ako masyadong gumagamit ng mga yan. Tapos hindi ko naman matapon kasi sayang. So yan, nandyan lang sila. Siyempre, pag tools, may hooks and thread kasi yan talaga yung bumubuhay sa business ko. And of course, my phone and my laptop kasi hindi lang sa everyday life. <laughs> Ang laking tulong din with business kasi we use social media now to do business. Pati yung online shopping website, yon So, yon Yung mga yan. Materials for my next project kasi I'll be working on these necklaces next. So, yung materials nito, ayan, as you can see, meron yung gold chain. Uh, may crystals siya, and rhinestones, and beads. And of course, my thread and tools. When buying materials, try, if you can, to buy in bulk. Kasi, oh, laging masulit. Lalo na when you're buying... Uh, crochet thread or yarn. Suppliers kasi give wholesale discounts. So, mas sulit pa rin talaga. And if you're working on bigger projects, bigger crochet projects, syempre hindi lang man isang ball yung magagamit mo. Lagi yan mar marami. So, it's better talaga to buy in bulk. One more tip is do research and read reviews with anything, hindi lang supplies. Kasi importante yun na you know what you're getting or you manage your expectations pag bumibili ka ng kahit supplies. Have an ano, close or accurate estimate of the quantity that you'll be needing. Pero it, it won't hurt naman kung medyo pasobrahan mo ng konti. Lalo na with supplies. Kunwari, when I, whenever I buy jewelry supplies, pag saktong-sakto yung number, kunwari ng lock, ganyan, spring lock, minsan hindi may iwasan na may defective na isa kasi nga nakapackage yan na marami. So, better kung merong konting reserve. Huwag naman yung sobra-sobra. So, tips lang sa mga moms, if you feel like you need a space to recover or to rest, huwag kayong mag-hesitate. Kahit it doesn't have to be a whole room, no? Give yourself that, your safe space. Kasi we need that <laughs> as mompreneurs. Find a place or a, a station, kahit station lang, where you can rest and reflect. Ganyan. Just take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. Bye!